This is a deep dive into the extra hidden power of 64 TAS. I plan to keep these single topic and short for easy reference later. The first thing to understand is how 64 TAS will iterate through anything that has multiple values. Let's start with the obvious case. I'll make a list with some random values. My list, uh, 5, 20, 37, 129, that'll do. Now if you do dot bind my list, you will get dot bind 5, 20, 37, 129. This can be modified with a formula, for example, if we make it dot my byte my list minus 5. Notice how the values are now 0, 15, 32, and 124. What 64 TAS has done is iterated through each item and added minus 5 to it, like so. Another handy use of this is to make high-low tables. For example, given a list of random 16-bit values, I take the low and then I take the high byte using the low and high operators. This results in This is not the only thing that can make multiple values. The range command is another. Let's make a classic screen lot. I will define a base address for the screen. Now the pointers I want are a range of 25. This means the numbers are from 0 to 24. For each, I want to times by 40 and then offset by the base address. Then I take the low and high as before. Now you can see in the listing the range has generated a list and has done the formula 25 times, giving us the screen pointers. And then we iterate over for each of them to get the low and then high. This can also be used upon code units. For example, Let's say I want to set all seven sprite colors on a Commodore 64 or 1 to 8 to be white, and that this is an interrupt handler, so I want it as fast as possible. No loop. You could just write it out, or load 1, store DO27 plus range 8. And if you look at the listing, you will see that 64 TAS has repeated the unit of code for each iteration. Range works basically the same as Python or Perl, in that we can give it a start, an end, and a stepping, if we wish. For example, if you wanted to set each sprite Y to be 100, you could do it with sta do one plus range 8 and times 2 to skip the Xs, or sta do one plus range, start at 0, end at 16, and step of 2. To recap, anything with multiple values or that returns multiple values will cause 64 tasks to automatically repeat the operations for all elements in said object, be it a list, a tuple, a dictionary, or a range.